Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the Silver Wolf underscore Knights channel. And today guys, we are coming back to set 13. And god damn Bushiro, I am sorry, but what are you thinking? So guys, there was a stream earlier today, really, or I think there was earlier today, last night, yesterday, whatever. But they released so much information, not only on set 13, but the new Messiah unit, which I can't wait to tell you guys about, which I have up in a tab. But on top of that, we finally figured out these two units' names. And god damn, I will say it again, they are scary. So, I'm sort of just going to scroll down. There's nothing new yet. They've been confirmed. The new Z-Rare is the highest rarity in the game so thus far. And these new units' names is Hellfire, Zer Zeroth, Z Dragon, Dragon May, and Absolute C Zero Zeroth Z Dragon Magia. Now, as you can see, they're grade fours, but they're not in a clan yet, or never will be, because Bushy Row decided to hey. New new cards? Let's do this. So if we scroll up here, we're going to scroll up for a second because I was reading through all this. So this is the new series of Vanguard. The poster for Vanguard GZ, the taglines is Vanguard versus the, the Dragon God of Destruction, the story heads of the final battle of Z. So what the story is going to entail is from the planet Kray, units dubbed the Apostles have been descended upon the Earth dragon deity of destruction genus who will who will destroy all existence in order to bring about its re reveal the apostles armed with the power of the six zeroth dragons invade earth vanguard fighters stand together to oppose them fighting side by side in order to break the chains of chains of destiny and carve a new future straddle generation because we know chrono is going to say that at least 10 times but this is important, guys. So if we look at this list, we see our six apostles. So we'll, we'll bring this up as a full image really quickly. We know who these two characters are. This is the um, Chaos unit, unit, and this is, if I remember correctly, the Kagura guy. But we have four other apostles we have no idea about. I'm assuming, before I've actually read their stuff, Shadow Paladin, because... So if there's six apostles, you would have to be United Sanctuary. We got um, probably Dark Irregulars or something like that. Um, one of these two would have to be Aqua Force, and the other one would have to be Zunation. So I want to say Aqua Force just because of his color scheme and Zunation. But again, guys, this is there's more to this. So we got the the wicked clown who spreads destruction chaos breaker link joker clan we got the lonely mercenary who burns with revenge gijin kagero let's see i was actually wrong okay so the queen who rules criminal organizations and she's mega colony there's two mega colony people hmm well um that's a bit different because they're supposed to be six, so I would assume they were all different. The strongest and the most perfect evil mutant dark face. Okay, so he was Aquaforce. The fleeting admiral who fell to the Neos of existence, Aquaforce, and he was Dark Irregular. So I got it mixed up a bit, guys. Um, like I said, I didn't read this because I wanted to guess on screen. So it's the Wicked Deity prelate who leads the apostles and he's dark irregulars which actually is really cool so the mastermind who sent Sher Sherno to earth oh god um give me a second guys alrighty guys sorry about that so back on like I said I wanted to guess these people and their identities off camera just by looking at their color schemes but the mastermind who sent Sherno to earth he is the master of the Prison of Souls relics. So I'm assuming those are all the people forced to be drift rides. And he has a terrify he has a terrifying strategy to defeat his mortal enemy, Messiah. 
this is what has me the most interest because if we go if we go and look up Messiah you'll see that it's a card fight unit that is used by Ibuki in the anime so we have the Forbidden Jew units Zeroth Dragons Descend and like I said we have two so far released and I can't wait to cover this more and find out their skills so Zeroth Dragon Hell and Zeroth Dragon Descendant Seas uh, they are weapons of disaster born from Dragon Demi of Destruction which I honestly can't wait to find out more about this. I'm going to do a whole video on that later on, so be excited for that. They're, they're the ultimate trump card used by the Apostles, and they're apparently keys used to complete the resurgence of this dragon. What are Zeroth Dragons? They're six G units that can be used in any of their nations instead of clans. So guys, this is what makes it super interesting. It's a unit, a G unit used in every clan. And I don't know how that's going to work because G units normally have a shtick to their clan or their deck build. So are these going to house copies of everything? <coughs> is with this is with this dragon right here being it's the Kage or not Kagero anymore, but being a nation of the Dragon Empire, will it have all the Dragon Empire skills? Will it have a Thunder Strike? Will it have a Restand? Will it have a copy call to the rear guard from G zone like Murakumo or is it yeah Murakumo will it have a dominate skill what are these unit skills is it gonna house all the keywords and then we have aqua force <coughs> which aqua force doesn't have a lot but is it gonna have harmony and this and that I mean I'm assuming that they're gonna have skills similar to their decks used in so this is probably gonna be more geared towards Kagero instead of anything else and this is going to be geared towards more aqua force but guys literally like look at so it's used for all these clans is it gonna house all the skills or what um so the ultimate rarity z rare gr's Ill inclusion rate is equal to the conversion rate of the g rare plus s secret rare and the z rares are also included <coughs> now the highest rarity inclusion has been and Z rares are only for the Z dragons and are super luxur luxurious card arts whose foils color depend on the nation so there's probably going to be one per case and it's probably going to be stupidly overpriced I'm really hoping that's not the case <coughs> um, I really can't read Japanese so if you can read this um, let me know I'm hoping we can get a G-Rare. There's G-Rare forms of it, so it's playable. But knowing our luck, they're only going to be Z-Rare. And if we come back over to this, their only rarity is Z-Rare, which is unfortunate. So these are their card arts currently. We have we don't know what it's going to take for them to stride, nor do we know what it's going to really do. But, yeah, I'm super excited, guys. And if you guys are excited, please smash that like button so I can cover more of this. I love covering this. And I am super interested right now to see what happens. <coughs> but guys, set 13 is shaping up to be a pretty powerful set. And with the new series starting in October, it could be the final G arc of this year. I'm assuming this arc is going to be about 20 episodes long, if that. Probably not even that. It's probably going to be about 12 or so. Because of how soon set 12 comes out. And that's going to be end of G. But guys, let me know what you think down in the description below. Not only will this set have a lot of reprint strides, it's going to have ultimate strides.